Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Everyday I'm Mothering. So today I'm gonna to be sharing some of my favorite educational shows that I let my kids watch across various platforms. I'm gonna be looking at YouTube, Amazon Prime, and Netflix. Now, these are shows that I primarily use for educational purposes. So these aren't gonna be kind of the extra fun shows that we watch as a family. If you're interested in what those shows are though, please comment down below and I'll make a separate video about that. But these are specifically educational based shows. We don't do a lot of screen time, but when we do, I wanna make sure they're watching something where you know they're learning something and also it's really positive characters and dialogue. So I've been pretty picky with what I let my kids watch and I've narrowed down to our top favorites. And these are shows that we do actually watch my girls really enjoy them and they will ask for them. Now, my girls do cover quite a wide range as far as ages. So I have my youngest, which is two, a five-year-old, and then a seven-year-old. So most of these shows are tailored more towards my older two, but there are a couple that my youngest one really likes. And for the most part, we've been watching these shows for a few years. So really it works from anywhere from that three to seven age. Now we do homeschool and I use the Torchlight curriculum. And if you don't know anything about that, I have a lot of videos on it, but you can see the main one here and then there's level specific ones too. But a lot of these shows tie in to the themes for Torchlight. So I can go and find an episode that will tie into whatever it is we're studying about. So I'm gonna make a note of that as well. So if you are doing Torchlight, then you'll know which of these will be perfect add-ons for specific levels. Now we do also have Disney Plus and Hulu, but honestly, I haven't found a lot of real educational shows on them. It's not to say they aren't there. My girls just aren't really into like the nature wildlife shows, which Disney has a lot to offer for that element, but they're just not really into it. So we don't really watch much on those platforms for educational homeschool purposes. So the first platform I'm gonna talk about is YouTube since you're watching YouTube right now and I know you have it. For YouTube, I've broken this down into a couple of categories. We have our science, which I'll break down even farther, our travel and then extracurriculars. And that's things like art, music, even activities, getting up and moving. So those are the three main categories I'll be talking about that each of these channels will fit into. So YouTube has some great science channels that are really geared towards kids and they're very engaging. So we have a couple that are just for overall science and these will usually tie into some type of subject matter we're talking about in Torchlight. And actually some of them are linked as part of the curriculum at times. But for those kind of general overall science shows, one of the channels that we enjoy is Crash Course Kids. And we really like how this presents the information. So it does have a girl sitting down, she's explaining it to you, and then she uses animation to explain the different facts or whatever theories or whatnot that she's explaining that day. It does move pretty quickly. It's very fast paced in the way she talks and presents the information but it's very engaging. She also has themes and the way she set it up with the uploads so you can track in a topic. And I especially love that it's a girl explaining the science as well. Along those lines, Sci Show Kids is another great channel for explaining various science topics. Now, this isn't necessarily the most engaging and exciting videos, but I do think they present the information in a really appealing way. And my girls do learn from it and they enjoy watching these as well. And the next one is Ted Ed. And again, this one has a wide range of topics. So pretty much anything you're looking for, you will probably find a video on it here. And again, it really presents it in a nice engaging way that keeps the kids attention, but it is really informational and they learn a lot from these videos. And then there's Homeschool Pop, which everyone has probably heard of at this point or seen a video at least once or twice from. But Homeschool Pop is again, a good resource to cover a wide variety of topics, not just science. You'll find history, math, there's all kinds of stuff on there. And so I do like to show that, you know, every now and then as we're doing a topic, find something that correlates with it, or if it's a holiday or anything they have a question on, I can usually find something in Homeschool Pop that'll go with it. And it can be a little corny at times, but my girls seem to enjoy it, they laugh at it. And for the most part, I mean, it does what you want it to do. You know, it teaches them something and they are engaged with it. And it is more of a informational type approach. And so far, all of the ones that I've talked about 
have that in common. They definitely are more presenting information and less of a storyline, if you will. So just do know that going into it. But again, they're very informational and well done. Still in that science group, I do wanna narrow it down a little bit more to talk about the human body. Now with level one of Torchlight, the human body is one of the primary science things that's carried throughout the year. So pretty much every week you're learning about some part of the human body or some system or organ. So I really liked having the ability to find a show to go along with that every week. There were two that we really enjoyed for this. Now, some of the other ones that I've already mentioned, of course, would have stuff and we could use those, but these next two seem to be a little bit more engaging. They're more animated and almost a story in some ways. So I really highly recommend these two. So the first one is Peekaboo Kids Science. And this is kind of an in-between where you're still having the narrator present information, but it's animated. It's a really fun way that they do it, more like a cartoon version, but it's very informational. They have a lot of different topics as well, but primarily we would look at this and use it for the human body and going along with that science piece. Now, the other one for the human body is a little bit different. This one is much more animated. It has two characters in it. You're following their path and it's more of a story. And it seems like the kids are almost watching a cartoon. So it's not just presenting information. The two main characters are Chloe and the nerve, I think is how you say it, but they're actually going inside the body and they're experiencing this, whether it's like in the, a relay race or it's some other type of format. So you're learning about it without necessarily knowing that you're learning about it, if that makes sense. But to find this one, it takes a little bit of searching. So you'll wanna to go to the Nemours Kids Health channel and I'll have all of these linked down below as well. But if you go to this channel, there's a ton of videos on that. And when you first open it, you're gonna think, what is she talking about? This looks like like health ed type videos, but you have to search in it and they have a series within that. And it's like kids health movies and you'll see it, Chloe and the nerve. And you'll see it immediately. And once you find one, you'll be able to link to the rest. But that series within this channel is just excellent. So moving away from the science part on YouTube, our other probably top watched show on YouTube is MOOC. And this is one where they travel the world. So this ties in really well with level K of Torchlight, where it's all about, you know, traveling the world and seeing these different countries. MOOC is excellent for that. And if you search for it, you'll want to find all the ones that are in English, probably if you're watching this channel, but they travel to all the different countries and there's pretty much one for every country that you'll find in Torchlight, but you're probably gonna wanna watch more of them. But it's a really cute animated program with the two little characters and they travel around, they're meeting people and they're getting an idea of the culture and it's just really well done. So I highly recommend that one. And because of the way it's presented, it's gonna work well for younger kids as well. My two-year-old will watch it, she enjoys it, you know, she has no clue what's really happening. You know, she still enjoys it and my seven-year-old still likes it and she gets more from it each time she watches it. So that is one of our top favorites on YouTube. And then another extra that we enjoy on YouTube is the Cincinnati Zoo channel. If you didn't check them out when they were doing all of the homeschool classes during quarantine and all of that, that is an excellent series to go back and look at. It was really well done. My girls really enjoyed it and they feel like they know these animals now. They want to go to that zoo once we can travel and do all that again. So I really enjoy it. And it also ties in with Torchlight Level K when you're talking and learning about animals. You know, they have specific videos per animal where they go in, they're really teaching you about it. They're answering all the questions about it. And it's very informative, but also really neat. And we got to learn a lot of things about some of the animals that we didn't know and see them do really neat and fun things. So I really suggest that one as well, especially if you have kids that just love animals. So now I wanna share the channels that we like that fall more under kind of extracurricular or arts type theme umbrella, I guess. But we have three that we use a lot. Now, the first one you probably heard me talk about when I did my planning video. If you haven't seen that, it's here. But when I was planning that out, I told you that I like to include piano for my girls every week but we don't do like actual intense piano lessons with a teacher or anything like that. We just have a keyboard at home and I was looking for something free and easy and engaging for my girls to learn piano. 
So we found the Hoffman Academy and we just really enjoy it. It's perfect for the level that they're at and for the amount of time that we're willing to put in right now for piano. And they have it set up so it's broken down into different lessons. And we typically do a lesson a week and then my girls will practice on it, you know, throughout the week. But that's how we've been moving through it. And the man who does it is really spectacular. I mean, he's very engaging with the kids in a way that's funny. I mean, he keeps their interest and he even has these little puppets like finger puppets that he does at the end of every episode like something a little funny that they do and my girls look forward to it they think it's hysterical so they always want to see the end and see what those finger puppets are going to do but they've learned a lot from it so if that's something you're just thinking about starting out with piano or you have a keyboard at home i really recommend checking out hoffman academy there is a part of it that you can sign up for like online i think and you get a bit more but we've just done the free parts so far watching the youtube channel and we've really enjoyed it and I've been impressed with it. Then for art, we really like the Art for Kids Hub. So my girls love drawing, painting, and doing all of that type of thing, but sometimes they really like having more of a structured approach to it instead of just, you know, creative free-for-all. So we really like this channel because this man sits down with either his daughter or his son and they have a drawing that they're gonna do. And it's something that your kids are gonna know, they're gonna enjoy, whether it's like Frozen or just an elf, Christmassy, or characters from a show, movie, different things like that. And they break down exactly how to draw it, like step by step. And it's very easy drawings. Like even if they look difficult at the beginning, he breaks it down to such an easy level that my girls are able to do it, even if they kind of look a little crazy at the end. They still enjoy following along, doing the strokes, and then coloring it and filling it in. And he has a ton to choose from. So you will definitely have something that your child is interested in drawing. But we like to just sit down as a family. We all get our paper and we'll pause it like repeatedly so we can catch up. But we really enjoy doing that. We've done a ton of them. And again, he is just really awesome in the way it's presented. And I cannot recommend that one enough, especially for kids that really enjoy drawing and getting a little bit more of a structured approach to it. So the last one I'm gonna talk about for YouTube is perfect for those times when your kids are just like wiggling everywhere, can't sit still and need to get some energy out. We really love Cosmic Kids Yoga. So the lady who presents this has a couple of different ways that she does it and you can find them varying, I think from like five or 10 minutes up to even an hour. But she presents the yoga in a form of a story and it's animated. So she has stuff happening behind her in the backdrop or things popping up and she tells the story as you're doing the yoga. So the different yoga poses don't necessarily use like their official yoga names, but she has you doing it whether you're acting like the bear that they're meeting or you're in a spaceship or you're doing the house or the dog or whatever it is. It's a very engaging storyline and they have them for like Frozen or Wizard of Oz or Trolls and she'll usually dress up and there's a lot of like animated sounds and sparkles and things. So my girls really like it. They're interested in the story, getting up and they're moving around. So that's an excellent channel as well. Now I'm gonna move on to Amazon Prime. And with these shows, you know, we don't watch a whole lot on Amazon Prime from an educational standpoint. That's actually mostly where we find our family shows that I was talking about earlier that we watch. But there are a couple that my girls really like from here. And if you're a Prime member, then you already get these and they're free, which is perfect. But there are a lot of like PBS type shows on there too. So if your kids like those, then, you know, they're there. Those are hit and miss with us. Sometimes they seem like it's very clear that they were done a long time ago. So my kids kind of aren't that impressed with it at times. I think they have high expectations now for the animation. But anyway, there are a couple that we do really like. The first is their favorite like hands down on amazon prime for educational this is their favorite and that is dino dana they love that show now there is a dino dan i think that came out first but my girls aren't quite as into that again maybe because it's a little older it's a boy i don't know but dino dana has instilled in them this love of dinosaurs they were never really interested before in dinosaurs but now like she can tell me all these names of dinosaurs, all these facts about dinosaurs. We've had to get a dinosaur atlas book that she loves. And I'll show you and link that down below too, in case your kids like dinosaurs, because that book is really good. So it's a very informational show, but it's realistic. You know, it's not animated. It's real people doing it. 
but they have the dinosaurs that come into real life. So it's exciting, but again, very educational. She's really doing experiments to learn through it. So it has that element as well. And it's just very well done. And then it has some really neat family dynamics in it too. And just all in all, it's a really good show. You know, so often we don't see shows like that geared towards girls, especially with dinosaurs. So it was really neat to see. And I know like even once my girls started watching it, I think they were playing with some kids in the neighborhood and we're talking about how much they like dinosaurs. And one of the boys said, like, girls don't like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are for boys. And my daughter was like, no, let me tell you about this, 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 this dinosaur. And this one does this, this, this. And she shut that down quick. So, I mean, it's really neat and exciting to see these shows that, you know, are geared more towards girls in areas that previously weren't. So anyway, that was a little aside rant, but it's a great show and I highly recommend that one on Amazon as probably our favorite. And then there are a few others that we watch. Now, these aren't ones that my girls ask to watch or really remember, but if I put them on, you know, they enjoy them. And one along the same kind of train of thought as dinosaurs is Dinosaur Train. And this one does seem to be geared a little bit towards the younger audience. Like my two-year-old enjoys watching it. My seven-year-old, it's yeah for her. You know, my five-year-old still enjoys it. But it still does teach about dinosaurs and facts. And it's a fun little show just to put on, you know, occasionally. And they like it. And then another science show on there is Psy Girls. Now, this one my daughter really does like, but it's my older daughter. This does not really engage my younger two. Some subjects will get my five-year-old on board, like the one they did about dolphins. But for the most part, this is going to be for your older girls. But what's really neat about this show is that it's real life group of girls and it changes from different episodes, but they are interested in either solving a problem or learning about more or putting together an experiment. And they go in and they work together, they meet with you know, experts in that area and they create this or they solve the problem, they come up with something. And it's more almost like a documentary in that aspect where it changes from each episode. But it's so inspiring to see what these girls come up with. And my daughter has really liked that. I think maybe her favorite one was when they put together like a puppet float, like a movable float with a puppet, and they got to learn about the engineering process and doing prototypes and what works. And that was just really neat. So that is a really cool show, especially for girls and boys, but you know, it has the girls as the characters who are interested in engineering and science and seeing real life applications of what is possible for kids to do. And another one we watch on there that ties in with Level K is Wild Kratz. And with this one, it's about two brothers who go out and they're mostly animated. There might be like a real life part where they talk at the end, or that's a different show that's still tied with them, I don't know. But for the most part, it's animated and they're going out and they're learning about the animals. And usually, you know, it's an exotic animal or a different animal and they're teaching you the facts, but it's a storyline, it's funny and it's well done too. And it's almost more like a, a comic or TV show type approach to it. But you know, it's informative and it ties in with the animals. The last one I'm gonna talk about on Amazon Prime is something that is completely different from any of the ones I've talked about so far, and that's Creative Galaxy. And this one is really nice because it has this animated storyline part to it, but then at the end, it has kids come on and they're making these crafts themselves. So this show is all about being creative. It's about coming up with different crafts or activities, and the items that they use are typically stuff that you'll have at home. So if your kids do actually want to do it, like it should be pretty easy to do it. So I don't know that my girls have ever actually built or done anything that they've watched on the show now that I'm thinking about it, maybe, but not like a set activity with me. But they really enjoy the way that, you know, it's presented and seeing how they do all the different creative stuff. And it does inspire them, I know, to do some different things and think outside the box. But it's also one that my younger child will watch it's well done with the colors and the theme and the animation, but it's all about creativity and more of the arts and craft type area. This got a little long, so I went ahead and broke it into two parts. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to be notified when part two about the Netflix shows comes out. Bye everyone.